Thank you, Chairman. Thank you for invitation for this uh, wonderful meeting. And yesterday, you already heard the very development from uh, Professor Yong Jin Ki, our great teacher. Mm -hmm. And from now on, I'd like to introduce a little bit about our valve and then uh, uh, present the one on cases uh, from, uh, uh, from basic to the final result. Because it is file very big, so it takes time. <laughs> uh, actually, you already heard. Uh, nowadays, we have only three uh, self extendable valves for the native valve IoT. Uh, one is the Harmony valve from Medtronic USA, and the other one is Venus valve already uh, presented by Warakan. And uh, these two valves uh, uh, seem to be uh, long and bulky, so uh, sometimes we feel difficult in drawing and implantation in the native uh, area and need a large delivery cable. For example, how many people need 25 French delivery cable? And we need to do read PBR afterwards. So this bulky structure is the obstacle to do read PBR maybe in the near future. And the native uh, dynamic RBOT area this two valve has a risk for stent fracture because these two valves are laser cut device. And this, uh, this valve uh, uh, developed in our hospital, uh, the profile like this. The outer diameter was uh, from 18 to 28 millimeter by two millimeter increase. And we made the post and uh, four millimeter larger flaring for the stair positioning. And the length we can modify well. For this clinical trial, we made the 38 millimeter length the whole length is 38 millimeter. So we already finished uh, our feasibility study last year. We, uh, the lowest year was 13 years old, and oldest 36 years old. And most patients had uh, more than RV index volume 170, and even 200. And most of the patients showed the excited intolerance. We implanted five uh, patient 28 millimeter valve and five patient 26 millimeter valve. Uh, we already finished the six months follow up for 10 patients. As you can see here, most patients show the uh, dramatically decreased RV indexed volume. Uh, some patients more than 200 decreased to 125. So overall, the mean RV indexed volume decreased from 184 to 126. So there was a 31% decrease of RV index volume after six months follow. And RVP peak pressure gradient also decreased in most patients. Actually, all the patient was an isolated PR patient, so there was no significant PS, actually. So from now on, I'd like to introduce our, the uh, first multicenter study in our country. This patient was 20-year-old male and patient uh, underwent uh, total correction at 10 months old. And since 18 years old, patient were recommended for surgical PVR from the hospital. And three years ago, visited our hospital for the chest tightness. And she wa he was followed up in our hospital. The chest x-ray showed uh, the uh, enlarged RBRT area. And QR duration was uh, 152 milliseconds. From echo, you can see uh, large ventricle. And the MPA uh, colored plot showed uh, severe PR. And there was some web structure in distal MPA. And there we found the 30 meter per second of uh, mild stenosis. And we measured the diameter by transverse echocardiography. The, the mean uh, target area of main PA was around 25 millimeter, and the whole length we had should cover is about uh, four or five centimeter. And so in that case, uh, if we deploy uh, this variable like this, it would be better to uh, cover this web-like structure and also the valve area. The cardiac MRI showed the index RV volume was 182. And when we perform cardiac CT, uh, you can see uh, this, this structure, and then we measure the diameter. Actually, in most cases, if we feel that 
uh, the cardiac CT, cardiac MRI, cardiac echo, always the different measurements. So we should consider uh, all the measurements and then should make a decision what device should be needed. From the CT, the 3D CT showed the, the, the proximal part of uh, main PA was 29 millimeter and distal bifurcation site was 34. So actually, from our variable 28 millimeter maximum, uh, we, from this cardiac CT, we cannot uh, implant, but uh, we should find more. Kibo? Yeah. A simple question. Yeah. The, the CT is C-sol page or the sol page? Uh, usually we measure the uh, largest area, so it's C-sol page. Ah. Yeah. So in, actually internal diameter was 26 in this patient. And the web structure like showed uh, about 20 millimeter from this CT. So in this, uh, from CT, we can uh, implant the, our device like this. So this is our cast room, actually compared with uh, Oracle's cast room, very, very, very small space. Sound button. Right? So when we did uh, MPA, uh, MPA angiography, uh, so that like this, and then uh, I I can explain like MPA this. MPA angiography shows the uh, here. So the narrowest area there is size of about 14 millimeter. Actually, there is some well like structure. And After that, uh, serially we measure the balloon sizing and also at the same time chronoangiography, root angiography, or sometimes chronoangiography. And from this balloon angiography, uh, we found no coronary compression. And then. So when we perform the balloon sizing, the nervous area was 90 millimeter, so near the web structure. And the fractional main number has been loaded. So before this project, actually, I gave a diuretics. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, I felt that diuretics can decrease the size, and so we can uh, reduce the size of the valve. So this is the explanation of our valve. Treated the cosine pericardium was covered uh, inside of the stent, and three different cosine valve was sutured inside the uh, pericardium. So, so, so con compared with the previous valve, uh, this valve is not so long and not so bulky. So this is the uh, variable loading process. So, so crimping the variable in, the, in this crimper, like this. But this delivery cable is 18 French sheets, 18 French delivery cable, for the up to 28 millimeter valve. So 
crimping and then uh, uh, shrink the proximal end of the stent to uh, make a snaring in the hook block. We made hook block to not to prevent uh, prevent uh, over of jumping. It's the first time to introduce this web loading pro pro procedure. So easily the valve uh, uh, loaded in this delivery cable. Uh, usually it, it takes uh, three minutes. This is the three, two and a half, two, two minutes, 30 seconds video. So from the beginning to end, it takes less than three minutes. This is the loading process. And then, uh, because we already made 22 French lo uh, long sheets, but uh, we'd like to introduce a delivery cable itself, so we need the primary bay in dilatation. So in the area of uh, widen, we dilate the primary bay and in the area with the 22 French sheets uh, dilated. So by inserting this dilator, we smoothly dilate in the area. Actually, we made 22 French long sheets, but for this clear fire, we did not use long sheet itself. Instead, dilate the inner area by dilator and then directly uh, insert the delivery cable 18 French. So we did not suture it here, just the manual compression. It works 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And then uh, to make the further uh, intervention later. So this is the uh, partial positioning and angiography. So uh, like this, we can uh, de deploy half of the valve. Actually, uh, after half of the valve deployment, we can retrieve it from this valve system. So this so is the- So what uh, can, it, the, the Venus P valve couldn't be retrieved when half of the valve is uh, the, yeah, 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 opened. The so I uh, see. Then if, if, the, if it, P, Venus P valve can be retrieved in this uh, shape, then you don't worry about the, the jumping down because the, mm. in the half, half of the valve open, then if jump down, then you can retrieve, then re-advance. So why you, uh, are you the, so worried about the jumping down of the, the Venus P valve? Well, um, if I understand your question correctly, um, if the valve is open half, mm -hmm. we cannot like retrieve. That. Yeah. Mm. But if it's less than 30%, we may... Less uh, than 30%. Yeah, we may be able a little bit to, you know... Retrieve, retrieve but, uh, but not perfectly. No, not perfectly. Now, the, the company, they're trying to, to sort it out, what you mentioned. Okay, retrieve if it's over, retrievable, yeah. probably it will be much better. Okay, then, Kim, Kim this yep. valve is... Uh, Previous uh, the position, it can be completely retrieved and repositioned. Actually, uh, this, in this yeah. uh, uh, we can retrieve this from this position, but also uh, this uh, amount of de uh, half deployment move move forward forward well. So okay. from this from this uh, uh, part deploy itself, we can move actually. Okay, I see.
So uh, this positioning angiography, and the same as the uh, self-extensible nature, uh, after po positioning, uh, by rolling the knob, we can deploy uh, two thirds of the valve, and then pull the lever, we can deploy fully the device. Angiography again. So fully deployed. So this is the, the process I can show you again. So this valve is a whole length 38 millimeter, it's not so long. And just after, for explanation. After deployment here, the valve position is uh, very good, I think. And the top color is already detached from the valve stand wire. And the valve area already uh, so now I want to uh, retrieve the delivery cable. So after uh, retrieval of the switch, uh, we uh, went to check and um, uh, format the angiography. You can see you no know, significant, significant pulmonary vegetation. So I'd like to summarize this uh, procedure from this image. So, uh, so I think the merit of our primary uh, first valve is uh, we actually I did not show the test treatment pro uh, protocol, but maybe yesterday Professor Yong Jin Kim introduced about that. We made multiple steps of specific tissue treatment to reduce uh, immunogenicity, density. So we need, we anticipate longer durability, and our device is actually operator friendly. So not bulky, not long, so we can easily uh, implant the stunt. And also can be implanted in the patient with branch PA stenosis, and even in the triangular shape main PA. And we are using 18 French sheets, delivery cable for 20 mm valve, so we are using low profile delivery catheter. And also, because of knitted stent nature, uh, we have a low risk of stent fracture. And at, uh, in the uh, prosthetic valve area, we can also implant after pre stenting. And we think uh, this valve is ideal shape to do redo Parkinson's PVR in the uh, afterwards for the redo PVR. So thank you for your attention. And I'm sorry this uh, video is actually recorded by ourselves, so <laughs> the quality is not good. So anyway, I hope you can uh, in, uh, understand the process to implant valve.